This is the Sontronics STC-1. Sontronics came out with this microphone 17 years ago when the company was formed and it's a pencil microphone, a cardioid pattern, that's what it sells with at least, and it comes in this rather posh box and inside of course you get the microphone with the cardioid head, the cardioid capsule, you also get a clip for the microphone and a foamy. I've also got a spare uh, capsule in here that's the hyper capsule which you can buy separately you can also buy an omni capsule it has a cardioid polar pattern you can get it in black or this rather nice champagne color on the body of the mic there's a minus 10 and minus 20 db pad its frequency response goes from 25 hertz up to 20 kilohertz maximum spl is 137 db so you're okay with drums and maybe even airplanes and with a bit of lap rockets that's pretty loud it has an inbuilt high pass filter, one at 75 hertz and the other at 150 hertz. Its self noise figure is minus 16 dBA, which comes out as minus 78 dB. As I said, the microphone comes with a cardioid head, a cardioid capsule, but you can buy other capsules. They're not too expensive actually, they're around, roughly around 40 to 50 pounds. I've got an Omni on order, it's taking a little while to come in, but I've already got the Hyper, and they just literally just screw off the top of the microphone and then you just put the new one on. Of course, you make sure there's no phantom power going into it when you do that. This is the sound of the Sontronics STC-1 with the cardioid capsule. This is the capsule that the microphone comes with and is just a standard cardioid. So this is the front, this is the side, this is the rear, back to the side, and this is the front again. What I really like about pencil microphones is just how easy they are to boom above you. And many people would use a pencil mic for speech at least boomed. You would use it, of course, boomed over drum kits, over cymbals or whatever, but this is the sound of the cardioid capsule being boomed. I've left it in shot so you can see how close it is to me. Don't want to take it too far away because obviously the further you take it away, the more of the room sound you're going to capture. But that's the sound of this microphone boomed from above. Again, also, if you just undersling it so it's out of shot, I'm just going to find out where it is on the shot. So there it is, and just lower it down. This is the sound of the microphone underslung when you're pointing it upwards into your face. So you can, hi you can hide the microphone basically below like this if you want to, or put it above and get the wire out of the way. And now I've got it out of the shot, although I've got my arm up in the air, but that's the sound of this microphone when it's being used as a microphone for speech off camera, so you can't see it. This is the sound of the STC-1 with the 75 hertz high pass filter switched in. Um, I would expect it not to be affecting my voice too much because your voice doesn't really go down to below 75 hertz anyway. But if there are any rumbles around like traffic noises, airplanes or low, really low sounds, perhaps this might help. And that's the sound of it with 75. Now I'm gonna switch it to 150. This is the sound of the same capsule using the 150 hertz high pass filter. Now this might start to touch in at the lower part of my voice, but it is really, really handy for cutting out those horrible rumbles that you can get around you that seem to be actually exaggerated by microphones. Maybe we just switch off to them, I don't know. But this is the sound of the microphone with 150 hertz cut. This is the sound of the hypercardioid capsule and it'll sound a little bit different from the cardioid and it's more focused on the front end. Very often with hypercardioids though, you do get a little bit of a bass well, it's not a bass lift, but it sounds slightly more bassy from the rear because they have that rear lobe. So this is the sound of the microphone from the front. This is the side. This is the microphone on the side. This is the side and to the rear. And this is the rear. On this part of the microphone, there might be a little, it, you can perceive maybe a little bit more bass. Back to the side and we're back to the front again. Now the microphone with the high pass filters switched in sounds like this. This is the 75 hertz cut. I'm expecting it not to impact too much on my voice at all because my voice doesn't go down to 75 hertz. But if there are rumbles, they're gone, hopefully. Now, a bit more. Now, this may be impacting on my voice because I've set the 150 high pass filter on. This is the sound of the microphone with 150 high pass 
very useful for getting out noises like traffic, whatever. Now, let's try it boomed, but I'll put it back to flat. This is the sound of the hypercardioid when it's being boomed from above. This is how I envisage using this capsule, so that's why I've got it. I've also ordered an Omni, but it's not arrived yet. But that's the sound of the microphone when it's being boomed from the from the, above the head. If I take it out of shot, that's the sound of it out of shot. Might pick up a little bit more room sound. Now, to undersling it, you put it down here, find the spot. There we go. Now the microphone is being underslung and it's pointing upwards at me, and that's the sound of the microphone there. Now, that's really handy to be able to do that because it's quite close to my mouth, it's not too far away, and it's out of camera. So it's, it's quite a nice thing to have as part of your armour. So that's the sound of the hypercardioid capsule. I think this is a really nice microphone, and what you get for that money way exceeds what your expectations are. It's built beautifully, you've got the choice of colours, you can choose different capsules for the top. It's got a lot going for it. It's slightly larger than some other pencil microphones and slightly heavier, but actually I quite like that. It, it just feels substantial in your hands. It doesn't feel delicate at all. It's built re really well, has a lovely sound, and is at a brilliant price for what you get. It really exceeds what I expected to hear for that kind of price level. So this is a very, very nice microphone, just like the other two Sontronics I've tried. The two Dynamics are spectacular, beautiful microphones, and this is also a really nice microphone. I hope to see you next time. Cheers for now.